can't believe how busy you've been this week. You know, with that project due next week and all. I know. All we ever do is work, 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 while everyone else is just having a good time. And you know, we don't even get any help. You know, Jason, that's supposed to be in our team, he doesn't even help us. Well, you know, him and David are like best friends. They used to work together at David's old job. Oh my God, really? Yeah, can you believe that? Look, there they are, taking another lunch. Long lunch. Well, we're over here trying to hurry up and pick up our lunch. <laughs> You know, this just isn't fair. I gotta go over there and give him a piece of my mind. No, I think we're already running late as it is, and we need to get back to the office so we can get back to the project so the big boss will get had. You're right. We'll just have to take care of it some other time. Let's go. Hey ladies, how you doing today? Oh, fine, thank you. Uh, have you seen David around anywhere? Um, he's at lunch with Jason. Uh, do you know when he's expected back? You know, we got that project coming up. Can you tell ya? Does he go to lunch with Jason regularly? Yeah. Every day. Okay, interesting. Thanks a lot. Have a good day. Thank you. Maybe now he'll have that talk with you. Hopefully. Hey Patrick, do you want to see me? Uh, yeah, go ahead and have a seat, Dave. Um, it's kind of my intention that you've been spending quite a bit of time with Jason recently. More specifically, you two going to lunch all the time. Now, do I need to remind you of what our company policy is regarding fraternization in the workplace? Remember, you're the supervisor, he's the subordinate. Now, as far as I'm concerned, when you're on company time, you're on my time. And you need to start distinguishing between being a supervisor and a friend. You need to figure out those two roles. Are we clear? I didn't realize that going to lunch with Jason every now and then was such a big deal. We worked together at the same company a while back here and became friends in. Do I need to sever my friendship? No, I'm not asking you to do that, but what I am saying is that there are others in your department, not naming names, that are starting to see you two as being all buddy-buddy when you go out to lunch, an extended lunch at that. Now, with this upcoming project, everybody has their own share of work to do, and they have their own share and Jason has his share, and I don't think they appreciate taking up his slack. And, of course, it also doesn't help matters much when Jason comes in after going on an hour lunch with you, the supervisor, gloating about how he just took an hour lunch with the supervisor, how he's all full and how he needs to go take another break. Come on. I guess I didn't see it like that. If members of my team are seeing it like that, I wonder how other departments are perceiving this. Well, exactly. That's all I'm trying to say. But uh, I do have an idea, though. Um, Maybe y'all could have a group meeting, We're just going through uh, this past month's budget, and it uh, looks like we may have a you know, couple extra dollars left over at the end of the month. Maybe you two could you know, invite some of your other team members along. So uh, go ahead and talk that over with your team and get with me tomorrow morning. That's great. I'll also have to have a talk with Jason in regards to being professional in the workplace. Plus I'll have a meeting with the rest of my teammates to see if there was any misunderstandings. Okay, great. Sounds like a plan. Um, so I'll, again, go ahead and get back with him on that, and I'll uh, see you tomorrow at that supervisor meeting, uh, 8.30, conference room. Wasn't miss it for the world. <laughs> hey, where's lunch today? Hey, why don't you shut that door for a second? I need to catch up with you for a bit. Okay. What's up? Hey, man, I just want to let you know that we're going to have to stop going to lunch together for a little while. It's been brought to my attention that others are starting to say that I'm showing you favoritism by letting us, by taking these longer lunches here. Who said something? I need to tell them a thing or two. No, Jason, we'll have none of that around here. Does this mean we can't be friends anymore? No, it just means that we're going to have to keep our friendship outside of work. When we're at work, I have to treat you the same as I would anybody else. Do you understand that? Yeah, I guess. If that's the way things have to be. Can we still go to, to lunch today, though? Sure. Where do you want to go? Why don't you ask Gene and Lori where they want to go? I'm buying. Okay, good idea.
Hey ladies, where are you two going to lunch today? Why? You want to rub it in? Yeah, you mean, where are you and David going to lunch today? I don't know. Dave had an idea that maybe we could all get together and go out to lunch as a team. He said it's on him. Sure. Let's go talk to Dave. Okay. Hey everybody, Pizza's here. Um, I'd like to stay a little bit longer and chit chat with y'all, but uh, as you know, I have all sorts of meetings to go to. So go ahead and enjoy. And uh, again, great job on that project, everybody. And I'll see y'all next week. Great. Right. Right. Right.